hello to my Dolly Hobby friends and to anyone else who's watching. I hope everyone's having a good day or night wherever you are in the world. So this is my contribution to Theme Thursday, Dinosaurs, Keepsakes and Bibs. I actually don't have a bib at the moment, so I'm focusing on the dinosaurs and the keepsakes. And I'm going to start with showing you this How and Why Wonder Book. When I was a little girl, I absolutely loved reading and learning, and I had a collection of these books that I read all the time. And my favourite was the human body one, and I still have the original. I also loved ballet, although, as you know, I turned out to have piano as my passion. I did never get to do ballet. And I loved rocks and minerals and fossils and things like that. So this dinosaur one isn't actually one of mine. I found this at a second-hand book fair. And it's marked 50 cents originally. And mine are so old that they are still in pound shillings and pence. We didn't make the change until 1966 in Australia, two dollars and cents. There are some beautiful sketches in this book. So I thought that was appropriate for today. And here I have with me Truman, or Manny is his short name or nickname. And he's one of my Tegans and he's wearing a black sleeper that has blue, green and grey dinosaurs. They're like little silhouettes. Almost looks camouflage, this outfit. And he's holding an Australian beanie kid and it's Troy the dinosaur. And then I have something special here that belongs to one of our sons, our third child. At the time, he was really enjoying a TV show or a cartoon called Denver the Lost Dinosaur, I think it was, or Last Dinosaur. We also loved the Land Before Time movies. But his request that Christmas was to have a plush toy dinosaur, and so this is the one we got. It's lost its black paint off the eyes, and we just added a little dot of texture. But he's still in pretty good condition, seeing as he was loved so much. And he called him Denver. And I have a photo of that son with him that Christmas. I think he was five. And I also have a photo of his little girl, our youngest granddaughter, holding this toy and playing with it. And it's a lovely mint green and white. And then coincidentally, the name Denver again. I have my Denver Rose sculpt here, and his name's Michael Allen Hugh. And he's wearing a beautiful Carter's outfit. He's quite a tiny bub, just a preemie sized dolly. And it's a white outfit with little green dinosaurs. And it's the sleeper without the feet, and then there's booties and a hat. I actually thought there was a bib. Maybe I've misplaced it. I'm not sure. And he's been wearing this for ages, but I love it so much I haven't wanted to take him out of it. And then over there are some of my teaching props, some little toy dinosaurs. They're actually erasers. And they're nice and soft to use on the keys when I'm teaching piano. But I also use them for sorting and counting and in the sensory bins that I make. And then over here is another special keepsake. A plastic dinosaur that belonged to our first son, our second child. I didn't like the children to have too much chocolate, so at Easter time they got just a little, but they always got a toy. And this was his Easter toy gift one year. And I've got the little fluffy chicken next to it because we always gave the children those as well. And that year he fed one to this dinosaur. And we tried to get it out, but it's a hollow dinosaur. And so we think it's gone all the way down quite possibly still there. So that came from among his box of 
childhood treasures. We've been away interstate, so I have been watching some videos on the iPad, but I haven't been able to comment. So I'll try and catch up on that this week. And let you know about a doll show that I went to while I was away. And also about a new addition that's going to join my Dolly family. So thanks for watching and listening. Bye for now.